Merry Christmas! <laughs> How you doing? I'm Rusty Nelson, and yes, it is that holiday season time, Christmas time, and you know, this channel's been about the villages and some offshoots from that, retirement, that kind of stuff. And part of uh, Christmas is being Santa, and uh, that's, I got my Santa Con December 9th, don't forget about it, down here in Sawgrass. And part of that is doing shopping, and I've had a bunch of people ask me, hey, I wanted to that thing you had on one of your videos, I wanted to buy that for my husband for a Christmas gift or something like that. And I thought, you know what? There's so many of those things. I'm just going to do a video about it. And uh, I will do these in order. So they will be in order in the description down below. You'll have the links that go right to it. Let me explain something about the links. They go directly to Amazon. And luckily, I get a few pennies off of it. It doesn't affect you any. You don't pay any more, but the person selling it pays a little bit out to me for directing them. Also, if you buy stuff within, you have to buy it within 24 hours. But if you go on there through one of my links, go on to Amazon, anything else you buy within that 24 hours, I get a little credit for and it doesn't, it doesn't affect you at all. And it's just a way without me asking for money through the year for helping support the channel um, it, it's just a way for me to make a little money to subsidize this microphones, cameras, lights, all that kind of stuff. Cause this stuff around here, whether you know it or not, like all this behind me is all soundproofing and everything else. So the sounds a little bit better for you anyway. Um, so that's it. I, I really appreciate it. If you go through those links, anytime you go through those links, anything you buy that day, uh, within the next 24 hours, it's credited to me. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps me out in the channel a little bit. Anyway, thank you very much for subscribing to, and thank you so much for using these links uh, as I am an Amazon affiliate. And let's go ahead and run through these. There's a lot of them from the kitchen to electronics to funny things to villages specific things, uh, health things, all kinds of stuff. There's a bunch of them. Here we go. Let me say before I get started with the first item, uh, you, I, I'm going to list all of these items down below. So you will be able to scroll through and hopefully I'll leave the pictures up long enough that you know you can scroll through this whole thing if, if, if you want to. And like I said, it'll all be in order. Uh, I may get one or two out of order, who knows? But anyway, uh, you can scroll through down the bottom. Also, make sure when you order through Amazon, there's a little check mark sometimes where it says take an extra 10% off. Make sure you check for that. Anyway, first one up is this soap dispenser. We're going to start with all kitchen stuff first. And first one up is this soap dispenser. I, I, I love this thing. I, I've had this since the day I moved in here. And it just takes a couple of batteries. I think it's four AA, four AA batteries. And um, you just put your hand under it and it senses it. Or I, I have it in the kitchen, so I just put a sponge under it. You know, when I have my sponge and just kind of run that underneath it. And so far, it's worked out great for me. Um, yeah, that's a bit. Okay, let's jump to another one. As many of you know, I started that carnivore diet, which I'm cooking a lot of meat. And I ended up looking at a lot of different pans. I'll show you this pan and the next pan. And I've gotten both of them. This is not a pan that's for the lighthearted. You have to season the pan and everything else, the mat for it. And here you can see a picture of it running by, but it turns out to be a great pan. I know they're used in a lot of the kitchens. And once I got that pan seasoned, like you see in this uh, picture, in this little video, it's, uh, man, they are, they are a sweet pan. And if you're trying to sear a steak, they work perfectly. Actually, I cook it out. I use it out on my grill because it spatters a lot of grease, you know, like anything else if you use it at a high heat. But man, great, great pan. And check out these next pans too. They are brand new, kind of out on the market. A lot of marketing too, a lot of hype, but uh, I decided to check them out anyway. So I figured I'd show them to you. These are the hex clad pans. Now, I just got these just a little while ago. And actually, after I got the Metford, 
Pan, and I, th- they're supposedly a hybrid. In other words, between a nonstick pan and like a carbon steel pan. You know, there's if you look on this pattern right here, there is like a hex type of pattern, and it's like slightly raised above the nonstick. So it sears a steak really well. The pans get hot really well. They seem to be even across the bottom, the heat. And the only thing that that is a little bit weird from a nonstick pan is the fact that like when you're cooking an egg on there, you still need to put like a little butter or something in there to keep that egg that, you know, sunny side up egg, if you're going to flip it, keep it loose on the pan. Uh, As far as sticking stuff, sticking to it, If you sear a steak in there really heavy, it seems like it has uh, some of that crust stuck to it. But I'll tell you what, once I put it in water, it just came right off. So uh, I I, I would give him him a thumbs up. I wouldn't tell you about them if if I didn't think it. I'm going to keep pressing on with these. You know, if you buy them now, they can be returned, uh, I guess, or at least when I bought them, you can be returned into January from Christmas. So anyway, uh, if you have somebody that cooks in the family that's a real cook, this might be something a little different for them to try if you're trying to think of something to get for them. These next two items, I actually use a lot. The first one's a meat thermometer, digital meat thermometer. It's a quick reaction meat thermometer. And this comes with like little things to tell you, um, you know, the temperature your meat's supposed to be. And I use it on the grill, and I use it inside when I'm cooking a steak. If you've never used a thermometer to cook a steak, I know. I know how to do this. I know how to check for medium rare and all that kind of stuff. But I'm telling you what, it works great. I take this, and when my steak's cooking, I get it up to about 110 degrees when it's searing in that pan. And then I turn it down, and I pull it off. By the time I'm done, I got a nice medium rare ribeye. The next item, this thermometer is really cool. You've seen me use it um, just checking the heat, the temperature of a pan itself. It's a kind of a laser infrared type of thing, but you can use it for stuff all around the house. I, when I thought my air conditioner went out, I used it to check the temperature of the air, the, the vents, what the temperature of the vents were. Uh, I've heard of people using them for their pools. I used them to check the temperature of the back of my garage doors. And if you saw the dog video I did, I checked the temperature of the concrete when people were walking their dogs around on the 150 degree concrete. So um, yeah, the, both of these are really cool, kind of fun little gadgets to have, not super expensive. For those chefs in the family, Redmond's Real Salt. Now, what? so what makes this so special? This is actually made or uh, mined from the United States out in Utah. And what happened was, is back in ancient times, long before we were here, the seabeds were out there, and long before pollution and plastics and everything else um, that's in the seas right now, this uh, mining area for salt, and I believe it's still family-owned, this this mine in Utah, that it uh, they actually, it, it was sealed by uh, layers of ash. So the salt itself is sea salt that's really pristine. The blue one is a fine salt, and the red one is kind of a larger uh, sea salt or kosher salt. So that's pretty much what I use exclusively, and uh, it tastes good, really good, good tasting salt. You don't see it, but usually off screen, especially when I'm recording one of these in the morning, you will see me with my hydro flask, and I really like this. I, you know, I've, I've been using these for a long time, and I'll show you the one I use for my sports stuff, but this will keep my coffee warm to the point where it starts to get almost acidic before it starts to get too cold to drink. And uh, I, I love this thing. You won't see me without it. Now, I'm gonna show you a second link here of a lid that I like better. And this is the old lid that used to be with these. So I, when I purchased this, I actually purchased it with the additional lid that a knockoff company made to to be like this. But you you can order this and it comes apart. And if not, you can try the other lid. Love this thing. If you have any wine lovers in the family, I've had this aerator probably for 15 years or so, maybe more. And this is the single aerator just by the, you know, the aerator itself. And you kind of have to hold it up to pour it in there. 
but I have the, it's only a few dollars more for the one with a stand. And it's kind of nice to have out. And I'll tell you what, if you've never tried an aerator, uh, it definitely makes a difference, especially if you're buying that two buck chuck wine or the yellowtail. Uh, it, it helps out a little bit, kind of mellows it out a little bit. Anyway, these are really great for that, that wine kind of person in, in your life. Or check out this next one. It also is a wine gift. I know there's a lot of people that take wine along with them, but this is kind of a nice little insulated wine carrier. It carries two, two bottles at once, so that kind of makes it nice. It's got little handles on it, and uh, I use it when I'm, we're grabbing some colder wines and taking them off. I put any kind of wine in there, but it keeps them from banging around and stuff. But kind of a good wine gift to, to continue on with the wine thing. Um, let's try a drink thing. This may be looking like a real simple shaker, but trust me, if you're somebody that's shaking martinis or shaking drinks, this you'll understand this right away. That black cover over there keeps your hands from getting ice cold. And uh, if you've ever shaken a drink, you definitely know that that can get r unbelievably cold while you're shaking it. This is one of the best that I've found. I used to be a bartender, and I've been using this type of thing for a long time. Here's another one that looks kind of simple. This sits right next to my sink, and it's I use it for exactly what you're what you're looking at right here. Is you just got a couple of dishes, you wipe them down, and I just plunk them down on there, and it gets air underneath it, and it dries out, keeps things from getting it's never gotten mildewed or anything uh, for, for me. It's just this kind of aerated kind of cloth type thing, but it works really well just to dry off a couple of things and I just leave it sit right next to the sink. If you got somebody that lights candles or that type of thing, this thing is great. It's like an electric match. It's about that long. <laughs> this is kind of the Tim Toolman thing. And it fires a little spark across that and holds it on there. And you can charge it with a USB port, but it works really nice for candles and, and that type of thing. Um, kind of a fun, cheap gift. And, uh, you know, I like candles every once in a while, so I like having it around. Here is one when I showed my kitchen, I got a lot of questions on. And it is a magnet. Probably, they come in different lengths, so you can get them in different lengths. But it's about that long and about that wide. And it sits up on the wall just like this. And it's magnetic, so it holds your knives up against the wall, and it looks just like this. And pretty strong magnets on there, but I really like it. I like having those, those knives handy and up against the wall, and it goes on with a little bit of like glue, sticky stuff or something like that, but works really well. I think there's some different colors like silver and black, but uh, obviously I use it every day. To kind of sum up the whole kitchen, something that's really important, and that is knife sharpening. I'll tell you what, I bring my knife sharpener. People ask me once a year when I come for Thanksgiving to bring my knife. Can you bring your knife sharpener? There, I'm, I'm going to show you two knife sharpeners. This first one right here, this edge grip. This is something that just kind of sits on the edge of the counter, and you just pull your knife through it. It's really cheap, easy to use. And I kind of use it to refresh in my knives if I need to, usually pulling it through the fine edge and then put it onto a, uh, and hone it. And then um, also there's an electric one. I have, unfortunately, the electric one I have is a chef's choice, but it's, they, they don't make it anymore. If you can find it, it's a 110 model, but this is a 315. The biggest thing to remember when sharpening knives is they usually sharpen at 15 degrees or 20 degrees. 15 degrees is usually for uh, Asian type of knives and stuff like that, but generally things are sharpened at about 20 degrees. So surprise somebody with sharp knives this Christmas and you're cutting that turkey. <laughs> now, we are going to move on to the bathroom really quick. And I have just a few things in here and then uh, we'll find some other areas to get into. But the first off is this towel rack right here. Now it is a suction type of towel rack and it kind of sucks up to the glass. I don't know what it is about the houses and the villages, but there never seems to be 
the the towel rack thing, you might think that they were five thousand dollars a piece or something like that. Because if you ever have a guest over, there's not enough room for towel racks, and they're not as wide as towels are to spread the whole towel out on. So. This was my extra towel rack, and I have it just the way it is right here. It's kind of pushed up against the shower glass, and it's fallen two years. I think it's fallen off once or whatever, and I just kind of cleaned it off and put it back up. So anyway, if you need an extra towel rack, this might be the one for you. But like I said, it works on suction. It's not glued on. Have you ever looked down at your bathroom and seen that mangled up toothpaste tube sitting there and usually half open and stuff like that? Well, I, I certainly have, and to kind of control that problem, I got these little silver things. They make a good stocking stuffer, I guess. But uh, So if you got somebody in your family that just can't seem to get the toothpaste tube from being all scrunched up, grab these things, you stick the end of it in after you start using the very beginning of it, and just kind of roll them up as it goes along. And half the time, it just sits kind of straight up on the counter for me. Yeah, fun little stocking stuffer. Next one's kind of serious. We're still staying in the bathroom. We're still kind of staying on toothpaste. But this time we're going to talk about electric toothbrush. Let, let me tell you, I promise you, I, and I very seldom almost guarantee something, but if you're brushing your teeth manually and you're not using an electric toothbrush, you're going to notice such a difference in your teeth. In other words, you know, when you use a manual toothbrush or when I do, when I'm out on the road or something like that and I'm stuck using one, halfway through the day, I can feel my teeth starting to get like fuzzy on top of them. Some people say it feels like I got socks on my teeth, you know. And I started using a electric toothbrush, your Oral-B, probably, oh man, it's got to be in, in the early 90s I started. And I did this thing with my dentist, and this is just me. I really don't care which one you use, but we tried an Oral-B for six months, and we tried a Sonicare for six months, and we put that dye that goes on your teeth afterwards when you come in to get your all your plaque and stuff pulled out of there, and it definitely was a better job done by the Oral-B. That's, that's all I can say for me. That's the way it is. And this is the one that I have. This is the one that, that, that I use, and I, I love this thing. You definitely, it, it, it tells you, it kind of beeps when you got two minutes worth of brushing. So eventually you get, so I can almost time it perfectly now, but you just kind of, you don't brush, you just kind of rub it over your teeth very lightly and just let the brushes dance over your teeth. I'm telling you what, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And the doctor always says, God, your teeth are, they're not straight, that's for sure, but she goes, they're always so clean. And so anyway, that's uh, make a definite gift for somebody. Anyway, let's get out of the bathroom for now. Let's get into sports, some kind of sports stuff. And of course, you know, if we do sports, we got to do pickleball. And I got kind of an announcement. This is the holidays and I'm going back north to Pennsylvania. And I'm meeting up with a company called Victory Sports. And I'm, uh, it could be a good chance I'm going to work with them with a pickleball machine called Ernie. And here's a quick preview of it. That was the Ernie right there, and it's by Victory Sports. And that was also Lee Whitwell. Uh, who is a major league pickleball player. And I'm going to go up there and check this thing out, and I may end up getting one. But I will come back, and we're going to make some videos while I'm up there. We're going to play at their little pickleball court called The Roost and see how this sucker works. But anyway, I will have some... Uh, if I decide to do this, I'll have some discount stuff on it, and I'll inform you more about that. But let's get back to things we can buy right now that Santa can buy, and that is shoes. Now... I used to use tie roll shoes, and I decided to try these shoes at, that I got through Amazon, and they were definitely less expensive. And what I did like about them is that they seemed to lace up. They the laces seemed to tighten up a lot better on my feet, but I also liked that they were cheaper. And I've been using them for for a little while now, and they seem to be holding up really well. 
And uh, they're worth giving a try. So if you have somebody in the family that's a pickleball player, you can always order these and then exchange them for a different size or whatever, you know, the way Amazon works. Let's check out a couple more little pickleball things right here. These are two different grips that I use on pickleball paddles, if you're not familiar. The grip uh, is actually wound on there, kind of like a tennis racket. Trust me, it is the easiest thing to do once you do it once, and there's plenty of YouTube videos you can go watch to, to do a wrap. Maybe I'll do one myself, but this is Yonix. I, I use this, and then I also use the Wilson Pro Comfort and this can make a nice little gift for, um, you know, people that play pickleball or guys, don't be cheap with your pickleball paddle, man. This, this stuff is so cheap to put on there and it definitely makes a difference. This, these, these two grips right here tend to be kind of keep sticky for me. They're white. So they're going to tell you when they're getting dirty and they're getting old. But anyway, give these a shot. See what you think. For those of you that don't play golf, these are tees. And for those of you that do play golf, these are short tees. And the reason I'm showing these, they make kind of a good stocking stuffer, definitely cheap. But the thing is, is, you know, we play those nine holes, so we tee off and we're using our irons an awful lot off of those tees when you're sitting there hitting from 100 yards, a wedge or whatever you're using. And a bag of these little one and a half inch tees work out really well because they just kind of get the ball in that right zone without having to shove a four inch tee into the ground. Good stocking stuffer. And speaking of golf, I do not get into my golf cart without this. I fill this up with uh, water and ice. Sometimes I even put two in there. I also take this in my golf car my golf car, my car, my regular car. And when I'm on long trips and stuff like that, there's always one of these sitting here. Let me tell you, you put some ice in this thing and, and put the top on it, it stays cold for a long time. And I'll tell you what, playing pickleball out there when it's really hot, I fill that sucker up with ice and I'll put two of them in there sometimes. I'll put some element in there. Uh, you know, some mineral salt, potassium, that type of thing. And when it empties out, that ice is still in there. I can fill it up uh, with some local water and uh, love this thing. Keep stuff cold overnight. I'll still, if I have it sitting by my bed, it'll be, uh, it'll be still cold the next morning. Love this thing along with my coffee mug too. <laughs> We are moving on and moving on to health. Now, some of you know, as far as this health thing goes, I've lost a lot of weight being on the carnivore diet, that type of thing. And uh, there's two books that uh, I've said that I've read or I've li I listen to audio. I'm going to put them both up here. One is by Dr. Ken Berry and uh, Lies My Doctor Told Me. And the other one is by a nutritionist, Judy Cho, which is really, I mean, to me, was fascinating learning kind of like what's really happening, what's going on when, when we're eating and maybe some of the things you don't want to know about the foods that we're eating. But I listen to them both on audio, and I know you can buy paperbacks, but I'll put the links to those in here. And that's about all I have to say to them. Enjoy them if you buy them. Uh, I certainly have. And let's um, move on to the next thing. Help. This little gem is a pulse oximeter. Now, I'll tell you what, when you go into the doctor's office, they'll put one of these on the end of your finger. They're not very expensive. What I liked about this one is that little percentage thing down the bottom kind of tells you as long as it's above 0.2 that you're getting a good reading on your oxygen level. But I pretty much do that in the morning when I take my blood pressure just to make sure that everything looks normal. And, you know, I'm usually looking for, I'm not a doctor, but I'm looking for a reading between 95 and 100, somewhere around there. And speaking of blood pressure, this is the cuff that I use, and it's uh, made by a company called Withings. And it connects into my phone via Bluetooth and keeps a running total, and you can send those things to your doctor if you like also. But what's kind of cool, what hooks up with that within that system is also the scale. And the scale also tracks a lot of other things like your weight and, and all types of things. You'll have to read on there what it is. 
But I'll tell you what, for me, it is a real motivational factor, this scale, because when I get up in the morning, I know I'm going to have to stand on that scale. And they say, don't do it every morning. But for me personally, I do it every morning simply because the night before, the day before, I sit there and go, as I'm about ready to put that something in my mouth, that ice cream or whatever I'm not supposed to eat, I go, God, I don't want to get on that scale tomorrow morning and look at that. And it keeps a graph right on the scale, keeps track of uh, what you're doing. So it, for me, it's a great motivational thing. Scale and the cuff and the oxygen every day. For weight loss, for you, uh, when you're burning fat, your body puts out, and I'm not going to get into this too much, but ketones. And that's telling you whether you are actually burning fat. Now, also, I'm sure many of you know that because to reduce inflammation, you've got to reduce your, your glucose. And one way you can check it is with this Keto Mojo, which I use. And this will check your ketone level and your um, glucose level. But this is where you actually have to prick your finger. Now, if you want to do it just by peeing on a, on a strip, then you can use these little strips right here, and they call it peeing purple. So the more purple it is, the more fat you're burning in, in essence. And if it's not, you're probably not burning any fat at all. I'm making that very general, so you, you need to do your own research on it, but that's basically it. It's kind of a cheap way to find out, and you'll see how high your, your glucose levels are by using the uh, Keto Mojo. Now we're going to get into the fun stuff. And when I say fun stuff, I mean electronics, or at least fun for me, because I kind of like the gadget thing. First thing is Apple AirTags. Yeah, they're kind of cool, I think. I give you a story. I put mine in my luggage, and then it went onto the airplane, and I literally followed it and knew that it had come onto the airplane. So it came onto the airplane, and then when I got off the airplane, I saw it come off the airplane, but I also have one in my car, which I guess if you park down in one of the squares like Brownwood and you forget where your car is, you can always just look on your phone and it'll kind of tell you right where your car is. Or like in this picture, you could put one in your purse or even your keys, but uh, I, I, it's pretty cool. I, I, I mean, I, I, I like it. I enjoy it. I have one in my camera bag in case I misplaced my camera bag, which is well worth it. So all that information is kept, and it seems to work fairly well. It actually works really well. I finally found a vent mount that I like that goes uh, sticks into my vent. And the cool thing about this is when you drop your phone into it, it kind of grabs around your phone and falls down into it, but then when you pull your phone out, it collapses, so it goes down to being really small. like this a lot, pretty good. There's different variations. You can probably poke around uh, Amazon and check, check different ones out, but this one seemed to work really well for me. I get a question a few, a few times about what camera I actually use when I'm out doing my, you know, walk arounds with a camera. And this is the one I, I switched to. I used to use a GoPro, but unfortunately, when I was out in the sun too long, it would tend to overheat on me. So I switched over to the DJI uh, Action Cam 4. And this is a picture of it. I like it a lot. So far, it's been really good. I also use their DJI wireless microphones also on this, uh, which which I really like. But both of them. I, I, I like, but I got no, got no real complaints about them. You know, there's always something you don't like, but so far they're, they're working out pretty good for me. Here's something all my friendly villagers should like, my fellow villagers, I should say, and that's this um, American flag. I usually put this out when, when appropriate. But it worked out pretty good. I was pretty impressed. You can see it. I have a pond, you know, reservoir thing in the back or whatever you want to call that thing. And uh, you can see it really good out there at night. So, uh, yeah, this is recommended. It's not really expensive. And I put it on an Amazon plug, which I'll tell you about here in a second. 
Here are two surge protectors that I use. The one that's on the left is used for, uh, I use a refrigerator, washer, and my dryer, my gas dryer. And the one on the right is just a strip one, and both of them have a high joule rating, but the one that is on the left is made for washer and dryer. So I have one on each of those. And by the way, when I leave and I go away, I, I unplug those, the, my, my washer and dryer, not the refrigerator. But anyway, surge protectors around here are definitely helpful. Now, one of my, my favorite things is the Echo Dot and the Echo speakers and that type of thing with Amazon. So you can say the word, uh, uh, Alexa. I, I don't want to say it too loud because you all you or if you have them, you, they'll be going off. But these are the different ones. The first one, the smaller one, um, the Echo Dot, which is small. And as you go into this one, this is a dot. I have this in my bathroom, so it has a, a clock in it. And when I ask what the temperature is, you know, if I just ask her to say temperature. She'll tell me what the temperature is outside and then ask me if I want weather, that type of thing. And then you can get up into a little bit larger one and you'll see these. And then these I have actually in my living room, which are the studios. I have a couple of those in there and there's there's definitely more sound. I mean, absolutely. Are they the best in the world? I, I don't think so. But the whole ecosystem and you'll see I'll talk about a plug next all works together. It's so easy to do and set up on your phone if you're afraid to do it. Just grab a small plug like I'm going to show you next and stuff gets set up really easy. But the speakers are really nice to, to have around because I'll just tell her, you know, play music. And, and you do, if you have Prime, you do get a lot of music for free. So it's great. Not only that, she tells me I'm hooked into Fox News and it also tells me... Um, I have it set up so that if there's something major that happens at Fox News and alert, it'll say, ask me, would you like to hear about this story? So it kind of keeps me up to date on that kind of stuff. But let's check out this little plug and tell you how that works. Let's talk. And I get excited about these things because I got them all over the house. The Alexa um, smart plug. I can see her blinking over there. I have one over there. The Amazon smart plug is is actually a great thing because you can plug that into the wall. You can call it a light. You can turn on a fan. You can turn on lamps. I you know I use that whole system. I'll just say tomorrow morning. I know I want to wake up at six thirty. I'll say her name set um, wake me up at six thirty to James Taylor, and I'll play James Taylor or um, turn on the coffee pot. Uh, or turn on a light and turn on a light for 20 minutes, you know, and the timer kicks in. My Christmas lights, my holiday tree type thing in the back is set up to go on. You can set up routines and they go on at uh, sunset plus 30 minutes. So 30 minutes before sunset. So as it changes all the time, uh, sunset, it, it adjusts itself to that. And then at 9.30, it turns the lights off. Or I can be in Pennsylvania and I can turn my tree on or off or I can turn lights on the house on and off. So it's, it's really a great thing to have, especially if you're a snowbird because you can kind of control things in the house. I can turn simply by saying, um, let's go like this. Alexa, tube light out. And it goes out. So it's that simple because she's actually plugged into it. Alexa, tube light on. Okay. There you go. I almost forgot about this surge protector. This one's kind of cool. I have this at the end of my counter in my kitchen on the island kind of thing that sticks out. And I can easily plug in any USB. You know, it's a charger also. I can plug in other plugs. So it, it makes it really, really convenient because it's a charger kind of like on a surge protector. So it's it's uh, definitely handy, but it plugs over two plugins, right? Two two sockets on your wall it covers the two sockets. This is a Bosch um what do they call it professional. It's measuring. 
by laser. And I'll tell you what, the sucker is accurate. I was hanging paintings and stuff like that. Uh, artwork, I, I used to use it all the time. And uh, you just click it, point it, and it'll give you an exact measurement of pretty much anything. You know, when you're measuring across the wall, or you're trying to put a couch in, or you're trying to figure out whether a bed will fit, anything like that. It's You just pull it out and point it, and it tells you exactly how far. If you back the end of it up and push the button, shoots across the room and tells you exactly how far. Love this thing. It's a great, fun toy. Not too expensive either. Yeah, that's right. I changed my hat, got a little something to eat, and decided to change my wardrobe. So if you haven't uh, tried these, they're pretty cool. And I, when I got them, I thought, oh, this is just a gimmick. I'll play around with this a little bit. But I ended up using them a, a lot. And that's these. They're uh, like glasses, but they have different focal lengths in them. And it also has a headlamp in it. And I, I still remember the first time I used them, I had a splinter in my finger. And uh, I couldn't find it. I couldn't see it. But you know how you can feel it? And I put these on and put the real strong power ones on there. I found it about two seconds. And um, I've used it for, like, looking at the back of uh, crazy. And I don't wear glasses, uh, luckily, yet. And but I'm sure it's coming someday. I keep saying that. But like, you know, the back of a bottle. And when I was working on a tool out there, I use it out in the garage and stuff like that. So not super expensive, but uh, definitely handy to have around. And they are rechargeable. Doesn't even though they don't work on a battery. And it seems to hold a charge for a really long time. Being a tool guy, this is a gadget that I absolutely love. Uh, somebody bought this for me for Christmas. One of the best gifts I've got. Make sure that you use this link that I give you down below because there's a bunch of them out there where you only get like one battery and stuff like that. But it, at the time I put this in there, this you got two batteries, you got the case and all, all this stuff. And let, let me show this to you. You just saw a picture of it, but this is it. And it does use speed, what I call speed bits like this. I'll put the links to where you can get some of those, not the little tiny things. And it makes it really easy because these just flop in and out and they are in there sturdy. Also, this changes like uh, changes into a handle like this. But the cool thing is, is when you press on this, you can feel vibrating, but it works by just gyroscopically. You can control how fast it goes just by how you tilt it and which way it goes. Cool little gift. And I'll include the links to some of the bits, but uh, for somebody that likes this kind of stuff, this is a great little gift. Now it is time for fun stuff. What do I mean by fun stuff? It could be anywhere from ornaments, village decorated stuff, uh, toilet paper, all, all kinds of things that are just kind of fun. And that's going to kind of round this up probably with the fun stuff. Um, yeah, well, let's just get started. And I've got the first thing on right here, which is the shirt. And that is, they call it an elf shirt, but it kind of looks Santa Clausy to me. And the other hat that I had on with the little beanie and also these kind of fun swim kind of sport trunks kind of thing, a lot of fun and definitely good for the season. You, I mean, you can get, uh, this hat comes in all different versions of it and just like anything else, but uh, you can make your choice. The links are down there. Go ahead and check those out. Move it on. As most of you know, I don't get political on this channel pretty much, but it just so happens this guy is the president of the United States right now. And um, here's some Great bathroom type stuff. I guess I could have put this up in the bathroom kitchen thing. But if you'd like the full kit, here goes um, a kit for you. Both of these kind of funny. And I believe it or not, I usually buy some of the toilet paper, no matter who it is, for my cousin as a Christmas gift. So I have partaken in this myself. If you got some pet friendly type people that have pets, these are always kind of fun to give. Uh, you can this cat one is the single page ones where you can pull off a page each day and you have a 
a bad cat kind of thing. Or you can get the larger ones, which I kind of hang on the door, but have a picture of a little puppy on each one. Anyway, you can get variations of all these in different subjects, but this link will kind of take you through to those. And you can pick it depending on what type of person you want to give it to. Uh, a lot of fun sometimes. I actually had somebody give me one of these, and it just cracked me up, I, I guess because it was... It was so pertinent because when she came out here to visit, I kept saying to her, what what day is it? What what day is it? And she would laugh at me. She was a school teacher. And she would laugh. She goes, oh, my God, you really are retired. So she all of a sudden after she left, she had sent me back one of these clocks. There's a couple of different variations. And the one she got me just had one hand on it. And there, here's one with uh, uh, the normal hands on it. But still say what day it is. So for us village folks that are retired down here that don't seem to care what day of the week it is, these are great. Kind of reminds me every time I walk out the door what day it is. I, I have to be honest with you. I was unaware that these items were actually on here. And I just, I just ordered one. I typed it in by just for the heck of it. But here's some t-shirts, different variations. I have the links to these four down below and a hoodie. But they're kind of cool, and they're not horribly expensive. So, you know, I, like I said, I haven't tried these. I haven't seen them yet. But I can't imagine for the price that they're like, you know, $50 T-shirts or anything. But they may be fun to send to somebody or give to somebody. And there's a whole bunch of variations of them in there. You can go through one of the links and then kind of fuddle through them and check them out and order something you like. Just another fun idea. Now, I'll show you a picture of this in a second, but if you don't understand it when I show it to you, this won't make any sense at all. And I just thought it'd be kind of funny if you had somebody you wanted to send this to that was maybe coming down to visit or somebody that already lived here or is a housewarming gift, kind of a good gag gift. And that is a whole collection of loofahs. Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, I will say, just to say something, as far as the rumors go, I've driven around, I look for loofahs all the time, and I think I found about three in two years. And when I look at the folks that's in there, I'm definitely convinced that it was there to help find their car. But anyway, here's a good gag gift if you want to send it. Not hardly expensive to do it. <laughs> Have fun with it. <laughs> Let me know who you send it to. These are always fun, the ultimate bathroom reader. If you have somebody that spends maybe a little too much time in that bathroom, you might want to get them a little book like this or send it to one of your friends. Just another one of those fun kind of things to throw in the bathroom. Not too big, not too expensive, but can be a lot of fun to read. Here's another couple villages items. One is for your iPhone type of thing with on the back of it says, Good Vibes, Sunshine, the Villages. Florida, and the other one is, I'm sure you've seen on the back of cars, those little stickers that kind of say where they're from. Well, here's one for the villages. We've kind of ranked in the world to get our own bumper sticker, I think. Anyway, a lot of fun little things, and there's a whole bunch of stuff in there from the villages. One thing that's kind of big in the villages, and I partake in this a lot too, is game nights. And there is one game called Mexican Train with Dominoes. The people play, and here I've got two different types. One is with a standard dots, and the other with the numbers. You can kind of pick whichever one you want. For some reason, I think, because people aren't used to the numbers, they kind of like the dots better. And uh, you can make your own choice right there. But they both come in, uh, they got a nice little case and everything that they come in. So it makes for a nice little gift. Here's one that's a little different. You know, in the villages, we drive around and sometimes we see a lot of these big birds hanging out all over the place and kind of wonder wh what they are or who they are. Anyway, a, I believe it's a local person. Paul Clark has written a book about the birds in the villages, Florida. Might be a little interesting thing if you know somebody that kind of likes that type of thing. Since it's Christmas time, here are a few ornaments that may ring a little bit of villages cheer. First is a golf cart, which is kind of cool. This uh, definitely deals with the villages for sure with some Christmas lights on it. 
And then there is a Santa Claus riding an alligator. And for the sports fan in your family, this is a link. Of course, I'm going to use the Eagles as my link, but uh, you can use whatever you want. And there is a bunch of other ones once you go to that link of other football teams, which are kind of cool. But go Birds. This I know a lot of people can relate to because I dealt with this over Thanksgiving Day weekend. A friend that I was out with um, constantly misplacing their glasses, but I thought this was kind of funny. Check this out. I'm just going to show this video up here because it's kind of hard to understand what they are just by a picture. And I thought, you know, even if you took the keychain link off of there, they could throw this in their purse or put it in their pocket or attach it to their keychain. And they always have these kind of like little readers around with them. Now there's different strengths and different styles, but I guess I felt patriotic and decided to do the one with the flag on it. Anyway, kind of a fun gift for that person that seems to keep losing their glasses or needs something really small when you go out to the to, to the restaurants to read the menus. Um, kind of cool, fun little gift. That's about it. I really hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's the first time doing anything like this. It took a lot, a lot to put it together, that's for sure. So I really thank you for clicking on those links. They only last for 24 hours, so if you buy something after 24 hours, if it's in your cart, I don't get credit for it, unfortunately. Um, but if you come back and go through the link, I, I do, and I, I really appreciate that. I've never done anything like this before, so let me know what you think of it or whether you use it. And I hope that everybody has a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. I'm going to go back up here next week to Philadelphia and go check out that Ernie Pickleball machine, which will be kind of cool. I'm kind of excited about that. And if I come back down and uh, with one, I'll definitely let you know for sure. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. It's been a great year, and I will see you either down here in the villages or I will see you back here on YouTube. Have a wonderful day.